Welcome back to America's Retirement Headquarters, home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates with Nolan Baker and Scott Kirshner. 419-794-3030 is the phone number. It's 419-794-3030 online, americasretirementheadquarters.com. One of the classic conditions of a recession is high unemployment, something that we are starting to see. Unfortunately, more companies are announcing layoffs. And for those of us nearing retirement that are worried about losing their job, Guys, can you help determine whether they can actually retire now by putting a plan in place? What uh, advice do you have if you run the numbers and you find out that they can't? Well, I would say running the numbers and helping people out, this is exactly what we do. Sure. This is what we're here for. Mm-hmm. So if you're you know, one of the people that have unfortunately been impacted with the economy and you want to know how to cope with losing your job at 60, uh, we can get you that information. Um I had a, recently met with a couple, I'm going to, you know, change the names obviously to protect them, but let's call them Rick and Stacy. And, you know, Rick and Stacy, Rick's been retired for a little bit. Uh, Stacy continued to work because they were getting the health care mm-hmm. for the family and, you know, things were going to go good. She was going to work for a couple of more years and kind of, you know, bridge that gap till they could get to, you know, lower health care expenses in the future. And unfortunately, she was one of the people that was recently caught up uh, in some of the corporate job cuts. Uh, I was looking at the news and, you know, some of the big names that are out there right now. I know uh, last week, Amazon is reportedly set to cut 10,000 corporate jobs. So you could be, you know, going to work thinking everything is fine. And then all of a sudden, bam, you know, things get change in a hurry you know number one is hopefully before something bad happens you're meeting with a professional and you're developing a plan to see you know if that end goal the finish line uh is you know uh, on track and if the finish line gets moved up you know how does that impact things because you know i think that can help you by making sure that you have a plan in place first and foremost the the first thing that i told rick and stacy is i said look let's take a deep breath, Mm -hmm. you know, take a deep breath. I've run into a lot of people being the fact that we focus on helping people transition from the working years to the retirement years that all of a sudden they'll make uh, sometimes some big knee jerk poor decisions. And those can be costly mistakes, Uh, mistakes like cashing out their 401k because sure. they feel that they need to pay down or pay off their mortgage without any thought process on how that you know could impact them in the long run um, making the wrong choice with their pension uh, you know you have choices like lump sum uh, survivorship uh, those choices can be irrevocable decisions that you can have so first and foremost take a deep breath mm-hmm. get financially organized and there's things that then you can do. Number one, you know, quite possibly you could be able to apply for unemployment benefits. So if you fall in that situation and you're eligible for those benefits, you want to take advantage of those benefits. Uh, we had in the situation of Rick and Stacy, they were given a severance package. Okay. Now within that package, they had to meet certain criteria and they had to respond within a set amount of time, meaning that offer was going to set to expire. Mm-hmm. Mm. So sometimes people are all mad, you know, like, you know, I can't believe corporate did this to me and I'm, I'm going to, you know, do something else about it. And, and I'm not saying having a conversation with an attorney if something wrong, uh, in your opinion, to happen, but pay attention to those deadlines because if you only have a certain amount of time to respond to those, you need to follow those deadlines uh, for things like your severance pay. You need to review what your benefits are and what benefits you've lost Uh, A lot of people will have life insurance, you know, Mm -hmm. they'll have one or two times, or maybe you opted in to have some additional life insurance from work. Well, if you retire early or you're forced into this situation, you may lose your life insurance benefit. So, you know, one of the ways of coping with losing your job at 60 is to figure out now, heaven forbid, if something happens to me, is my surviving spouse still protected in the event that we have a premature death? And if not, you know, is buying like life insurance an option or a strategy to help kind of bridge that gap to where you get. One of the other things that can be a a big impact is the changes, especially, you know, for somebody at age 60 with Mm -hmm. medical expenses. Yeah, there's no question. You know, if you have an employer that has over 20 employees, uh, then there's what's called a COBRA, right? And like you said, Nolan, pay attention to the details. You only have 60 days to actually sign up and, and accept COBRA. And uh, it does go back retro to the date that you uh, actually lost coverage. Um, 
Uh, so you need to pay attention to that because if you get past that date, you are without health coverage. And, uh, you know, you're already reeling from losing. You know, I got a question for you, actually. So you're talking about losing. Jo- I'm 60. Is there something you want to tell me here that is something <laughs> that I, I need to be prepared for? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going there. So anyhow, you know, pay attention to uh, those those details and dates. You know, if you um, if your income drops and you uh, uh, have um, uh, your your Cobra premiums are something that's unaffordable, then you always have the option to go on to uh, uh, the marketplace and get coverage that way. Um, that's where I can come into play and help with that. You know, um, it is based on income, so you could uh, qualify for a premium tax credit and, and uh, you know get some health coverage that way. Yeah, at the end of the day, just remember how to cope with losing your job at age 60. Just know uh, that's what we're here for. Uh, Take a deep breath and then uh, give us a call. You know, we talk so often here on the show about having a plan and, you know, doing it sooner rather than later because there may be a situation where you find out you can retire earlier or, you know, there is some work that you need to do and and it's better to find out about that, you know, uh, prior to you saying, oh, I'm going to retire next year. And then you realize that there's still a lot of work to do. This is another side of it. And it's not nearly as pretty. Sometimes it is taken out of your hands, the decision, whether it is through health issues or whether it is through these layoffs like we're seeing. But rather than be caught unawares and say, well, what do I do now? You know, to have a plan to fall back on and say, okay, not ideal, but but I've accounted for this and, and these are the next steps that we need to take. To get to those next steps, take the first step. Give a call, 419-794-3030. Maybe it's one of those things that hopefully you never have to use but until the time comes when you are ready to retire. We hope that's the case. 419-794-3030 or go online to americasretirementheadquarters.com.